Hey there everyone, welcome to Violet's Dream Tarot. So today we're going to be doing a video called How Do They Feel About You? And so this is for a specific person that you have in mind, kind of seeing what their thoughts and feelings are towards you. Maybe a little bit of how they see you as a person might come out in the cards as well. I haven't kind of presumed any particular relationship that you might have with this person. You can ask about a friend or a family member or a colleague, but I feel like a lot of you will probably be asking about people that you're romantically interested in so I have got a couple of cards that I will use that are more specifically designed towards that but if you're not asking about a romantic connection that's fine because you can just discount those messages um you know they might even come out with a message that does make sense in your situation so with that being said I also want to say a big thank you to all of my patrons including Alexandra, Kat, Kelly, Virginia, Chris and Cara thank you guys so much for your support thank you to all of my lovely subscribers and if you're new here, welcome. I do encourage you to subscribe. It's completely free and it means that you get to see my videos more often when I post them. And it also means that I get seen by more people on YouTube. It helps the algorithm. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to show you guys a close up of the cards that came out for each pile today. This is what I've been doing in my videos recently rather than putting like an object on each pile. I've been putting one of these cards on the piles and I haven't chosen the cards. I've shuffled them and I've asked, you know, give me a, a pile marker for pile one, pile two, etc. And I've taken the card that has fallen out each time. Um, and they've often, like pretty much always been really, really connected to either what's going on with the person who chose it or what comes out in the reading. So I'm going to show you close up the pictures and also what I personally interpret them as, but you might have your own interpretation as well. So over on group one, we've got this kind of devil figure who is opening this pumpkin and showing us this beautiful kind of utopia place with the like waterfall, looks really lovely as an escape from this dark place where we are now. And so when I see this, I kind of think something being too good to be true or just um, maybe even wishful thinking, like ignoring the bad sides of a situation because you're hoping it'll get better in the future or, you know, someone keeps promising you something but they're not coming through with it. And that reading, pile one, is going to have the Dark Mansion Tarot. You don't have to choose based on the meanings of the cards. You can choose intuitively and that's probably going to get you the most accurate reading. But I just always like to, to shout out what the cards mean to me in case it really hits a note with some of you. So group two is these two children with a big book and this tree that's got all pictures of their family and teddy bears and camera and a bike and things and so I just think of reminiscing childhood, maybe someone you've known for a very long time or someone you've known since childhood or someone that you've known in the past and are just kind of reconnecting with, maybe a member of your family even. And we've got the Ramsey's Tower of Eternity for pile two, very kind of nostalgic reminiscing that comes to mind with that pile, spending a lot of time thinking about memories and where we come from. And then on pile three, we've got this really strange card where it's like a, kind of looks like a big golden fish to me and he's going past these houses, looks, you know, enormous at nighttime. And so when I see this, I think of like nightmares, I think of really vivid or strange dreams that you might have been having recently. Um, maybe uncomfortable dreams or just maybe really vivid dreams. Maybe you've been seeing someone in your dreams or feel like you're connecting with them on like a 5D level. And we've got the happy tarot for pile three. So you can take as much time as you need and you can go back to the start of the video if you want to see each card close up again. You can pause the video if you need more time to decide. Just take a deep breath and choose the one that you feel the most intuitively pulled towards. You might feel that you're drawn to more than one and you might even want to ask the question about a couple of different people. So you might want to ask, how does this person feel for me and pick a pile and then come back to the start and ask about a different person and pick a different pile. Okay, so with that being said, Take as much time as you need, you guys. Have fun with it. And I'm going to start with pile number one. Hey there, group one. Welcome to your reading. If you chose the picture with the kind of devil figure offering us some kind of escape or some kind of utopia and the dark mansion tarot, this is going to be your reading. So if you're new here, I always do charms and dice once I've got all of the tarot and oracle cards out. So that's going to be something that comes up towards the end of the reading. So just think about your person, how does this person feel about you, group one? Okay, 
we've got a couple of cards jumping out. We've got the Empress to start off with, my favourite card in the tarot. Then Four of Wands. Nine of Wands. Three of Cups. And the Tower. Interesting energy. There's a real mixture of things there. Um, I really want to say that this person genuinely has a lot of respect for you. And I also feel that they really care a lot about you. Um, I feel as though this relationship either has quite a lot of history to it, like you've, you've known each other a very long time, or you just seem to have hit it off straight away. Like maybe if you've only known each other a couple of weeks or months, it just feels like straight away you knew each other or you just you felt like you'd known them for a very long time because I just get this real sense of almost family this could even be a family member for you someone who really feels like they've got a strong connection with you or a really strong foundation with you um, and then there's we've got the nine of wands and the tower and this kind of says to me that they feel as though the relationship is more difficult than it should be um, whether it's a friendship or a romantic thing or a family connection they feel like it shouldn't be this much hard work or they feel like things keep getting in the way that cause conflict with the two of you and it's draining or it's tiring. You know, I kind of get the feeling that they want to keep things lighthearted with the three of cups, at least for now. You might have noticed that this person possibly avoids meeting you one-on-one -on -one and tries to meet you in a group um, or maybe they avoid things that feel like a serious discussion and they try and keep things quite lighthearted because that's the kind of feeling I'm getting. I feel like to begin with, this was a very close connection. You know, we've got the two people there having the picnic with the four of wands and there's a flower being exchanged. It's quite romantic or it's quite sincere. And then after that, it feels like, you know, this is a very difficult connection or this things keep getting in the way or, you know, we're having having some difficulties bonding with one another maybe arguing a lot or just, you know, coming up with some difficulties that get in the way of the relationship and therefore they're trying to to put it more on a lighthearted level. But I want to see what all of the Oracle cards are going to say because I really do get the sense this person genuinely cares a lot about you. They really have a lot of respect for you. They see you as a great person. They really cherish I feel the times that they've spent with you in the past, like they feel as though they've learned a lot from you or that you were there for them at a time when they really needed that. The white snake understanding, number 35, yeah. That really makes sense with the four of wands feeling that you just both really get one another. And that probably came out quite early on in your relationship. So you may have felt, as I said, like you've known this person a very long time when you just started talking to them because it just felt like, wow, such a great connection, such a great click. We're on the same wavelength or we like the same things or we understand each other without having to do a lot of explaining. Eagle Spirit. Spirit has your back, number 23. And I kind of feel like that's a double message there. I feel like it's saying things are going to work out in the best possible way. As far as this connection is concerned, Spirit has your back with regards to that. But I also feel like it's saying if you really needed them, this person likes to think that they would be there to support you. And if you're not feeling that from them right now, if you're feeling like you have turned to them and they've not been there for you or you've kind of you know, had a cry for help that's fallen on deaf ears or you've really asked them to meet up and they've kind of tried to evade that a little bit. I'm not discounting that, but I feel like from their perspective, they feel like if you ever really needed them, they would be there for you. That's what they're kind of telling themselves at least. Door to value, number 31. This could be an indication of what maybe got in the way, maybe finances, work schedules, maybe one of you moved away for work, maybe you just weren't from the same background socially and that caused tension or, you know, it can cause tension not in the sense of just maybe internalised prejudice or a certain way of living one's life and then expecting similar from someone that we spend a lot of time with, but it can be things like one person maybe wanted to go to a restaurant all the time and the other person couldn't afford that kind of lifestyle. These things do matter and they do get in the way. Um, so I feel like that's possibly an issue that came up for some of you. But for others, I feel it's more like 
this person just values the time that they've spent with you. They value you as a person. They feel like they've gained a lot from this connection, at least. Okay. Breaking trail. A breakthrough is at hand. That's great. Possibly this relationship is about to take a turn. We've got the tower card there, so there could be big change on the horizon or things kind of settling down nicely. If you've had that big dramatic, you know, split from someone or arguments with someone or maybe just a time of no contact even, that could be about to change in the next couple of months. I want to pull a card to give a ma message from the masculine and feminine and you know, you could be asking about two people of the same sex, or you could be a woman who identifies energy-wise more as a, a masculine energy. Um, whenever I pull these cards, I always ask that you kind of think about your energy and the energy of the other person. Yes, you might be a woman and you might have predominantly feminine energy, but what's the relationship dynamic like with you and this person? Who is the more masculine, assertive energy? Who is the more feminine, nurturing energy, etc.? It might not fit your biological sex in this instance, but I'm already getting two messages from the feminine. So we've got Gaia, creation, and Skadi, atonement, okay? So it feels like there has been a lot going on here. It feels like the feminine wants to ask for forgiveness or feels as though maybe they're being punished you know there's two sides to that card from one perspective it's the feminine thinking that they deserve to be punished and they want to ask for forgiveness they want to kind of make right what they've done wrong and from the other perspective it's more like they don't feel like they've done anything wrong but they feel like they're being punished so kind of take that on board however it resonates with you and the Gaia card I'm sure it had a message when I read in the guidebook once that really wasn't obvious from the card itself, but really kind of made sense. Let me just quickly look in the guidebook. Yeah, feeling like you're in the middle of a storm with chaos unleashing its fury all around you. So very much that kind of tower energy. It's all too easy to get sucked into the dramas and traumas of those around you while others seem to have such high expectations of you. So as usual, you take care of their needs before considering your own. But Mother Gaia calls you to manifest all that you wish your life to be and to take care of you. Okay, so it's saying you might be being distracted from your path. It's time to focus on what's truly important to you. Set clear boundaries. Be responsible for your actions. Be true to your beliefs in yourself and don't give in to the demands of others. So that's where the feminine is coming from now is this need to kind of prioritize themselves. And then there's also this issue of punishment and or the need for forgiveness. And then from the perspective of the masculine, we've got Ares, war. And so Skadi is also in this um, kind of battle armor. So it does feel like there is a conflict situation going on here or that there are things that have been left unresolved between you and this person. So maybe you're not talking currently or you don't see a lot of them, but things are kind of still going left unsaid and it feels like there's an air of, you know, unsettled energy between the two of you or maybe it is that you are arguing often or that you just can't seem to I don't know like settle this relationship down it's kind of like I'm seeing one drama after another or when you just kind of get onto a great footing with this person suddenly an argument comes up or another problem arising from external circumstances comes up and it's like well we were just doing so well and now this So from the masculine's perspective, there is kind of a battle going on. There's arguments, there's conflict. They feel like they're on their guard, essentially. So your ice cream today is ba banana walnut. <laughs> Cracking codes, learning, observing. That makes sense, okay? So whoever you're asking about is kind of trying to gauge from your energy, your messages, the way you are in your body language and when you talk to them, when you see them. They're trying to gauge from that what you're thinking and how you're doing and what you want from this connection. They're doing a lot of analyzing, maybe also looking through social media and stuff and seeing what you're posting, kind of getting an idea of how you're feeling from that. Maybe they're asking around about you as well. Yes, Machtkampf. 
number 15, power struggle. That's what it feels like, is that there's just conflict going on, there's push and pull, and yet there's still, you know, that the pull, there's the push, but there's also the pull. You know, it wants to keep the two of you together. The two of you really feel drawn to one another. You have a great connection at the heart of this. And it's like, why does it keep going wrong? Or why does it keep feeling so full of drama? We've got the sun. Okay, abundance. Yang energy, growth, I feel when I see the sun. I also think of passion. very fiery energy maybe there is some fire signs here co-create number 40 a lot here about the two of you kind of doing things together but equally kind of being frustrated with each other all the time push and pull like I was saying maybe you both have similar interests or similar skills or work in a similar field And so on the one hand, you work really well together, and on the other hand, it's just fiery. So I'm just going to get a couple of messages from your person for those of you that are maybe asking about a romantic connection. Just kind of discount these messages if that's not what you're asking about, and then we're going to move on to the charms and dice. Messages there. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have, I wish things were different. Okay, so this person wishing that the situation would change, maybe wasn't um, the way it was, or that maybe things in the past hadn't worked out the way that they did, maybe regretting saying or doing certain things. We've got, I can't talk right now. And I did get the feeling that a lot of you are in, either in no contact with this person, or they keep kind of avoiding meeting up with you one-to-one -one and they just kind of see you at social events or they see you in a group or they try and see you where it's going to be light-hearted rather than serious and maybe if you do see them they avoid the serious conversations and they just try and talk about fun things and your other message is I don't think I can live up to your expectations so there is a lot of passion here and it feels like this person is you know unsure of where this is going because they definitely can't get you out of their head and they really value you and care about you but they're thinking how can we sustain this um, we need to figure out a way of getting this into a more balanced energy and yet they don't want to talk about it which is frustrating so I guess I would just say give this person a bit more time there is the breaking trail card there so things are going to change soon for one way or another and I think it's probably going to be for the better um, that's the only advice I can give based on the cards because I feel like for a lot of you, you don't want to push this person in case they snap or in case, you know, they walk away. So let's get your charms on top. And I just want to say, if you don't like the sound of the charms, please do turn down the volume now, especially if you're wearing headphones. Some of you really love the sound. You find it relaxing. Some of you, it kind of grates on you. It makes you anxious. It's really a bit of a Marmite thing, <laughs> any kind of charm sound. So let's look at your charms and we'll do your dice. Okay, so straight away, this charm caught my eye, and it's like the eternal love charm. I always use that um, charm to talk about a past life relationship. So you may not have had a romantic connection in a past life, or you may not have had the same kind of relationship in a past life with this person that you currently have, but you have known them in at least one past life, and that's possibly why you felt like you knew them straight away when you met them, or why there's just so much karmic energy going on here, because I see that there's like a lot of drama, there's a lot of passion getting in the way, and so that's why this feels so kind of complicated. We've got intuitive, which is Pisces, Pisces charm. 
So it's interesting it landed on that card about observing, learning, cracking codes, like analyzing what you're doing, because that's kind of what intuitive is. It's like sensing how someone's feeling or what they want based on nonverbal cues. So that's really what this person's doing. We've got the good luck charm, which is also a fire elemental dragonfly there. We've got fear. A lot of fear on the side of the feminine, I feel, but also faith and hope that things are going to work out. I feel you've lost hope if you're the feminine quite a few times and you've had to regain it. If you're not the feminine, that's kind of what they've been going through. There is a child involved here for some of you, maybe one or more of you has children, or there is just an immaturity on the side of one of the people involved here. We've got another charm about intuition and dreams. You know, a lot about kind of psychic energy and, and sensing things without having to speak. Maybe that's part of your connection is that you really feel from the start how the other person is thinking and feeling without having to ask them or without having to say it out loud. And that's why you feel it's such a special connection. There is a beauty to this connection as well. And I also see that as being like a really springtime flower. So I kind of think of opening up, which could be coming along in a few months with that breaking trail card, we've got the dragon. Very significant situation when the dragon charm comes out and obviously it's landed on the tower. Um, one or more of you could also be born in the year of the dragon. Dragons are also another fire elemental being. And we've got the snake, that's another Chinese year. So the, the year of the dragon or the snake coming up as well. The snake, I often think of betrayal. You know, people who are just kind of... Um, looking out for themselves like they may actually care about you and yet they're always going to put themselves first is what I feel like if they feel in any way threatened or like their their needs or their rights are being pushed to the side they're going to lash out is what I feel so that's how someone has behaved in this situation let's get the dice on top okay so we're rolling the second set of dice Group one, those are the original dice. They look like this. And we're rolling five of them for you. Okay, let's get five dice for group one, please. Okay, yeah, definitely a lot of you, this person is a family member or they're like family to you. You've known them a long time or they just feel like family to you because you care about them so much. Um, we've got the lock there. So for a lot of you, this person's not talking or they're not opening up. They're not sharing how they're feeling. A lot of it just feels very random as well. When we get the dice dice, it's about leaving things to chance. It's about gambling, risk taking random occurrences you know for me it just kind of feels as though so much is happening unexpectedly and it just genuinely feels like every time you think something's sorted or settled or you think things are getting better between you and this person communication's improving suddenly another issue pops up or another argument happens or it's like you take one step forward and two steps back that's what it feels like and it's so frustrating from your perspective got the communication dice there so they really did feel as though you have a great connection or a great kind of ability to be on the same wavelength and to intuit what the other person is feeling and then the magic wand that's a really kind of positive symbol and I want to relate it back to the breaking trail card because it feels as though there is going to be a magical change or a kind of really unexpected positive shift happening soon in a way that you really didn't think could happen so maybe a problem that you thought was unsolvable is going to be resolved soon or um you know a, a blockage or a, an obstacle that's been in the way of your connection is going to be removed and you never thought that could be possible uh, maybe a complete change of heart overnight or something like there's a real kind of opportunity coming up here so that's what i see group one is this person does have a lot of respect and care for you um, but there's a lot of things getting in the way and it kind of feels a bit like a battleground at the moment. So I hope this resonated. Please let me know in the comments. If it did, please like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed 
the video. It really, really helps my channel get seen by more people. And if you're interested in what I do here on the channel, then check out the description box for lots of links, such as my Instagram page, if you want to go and follow me over there for daily oracle cards, my Billy Billy page, if you want to support me on there by following me. Um, I've got my Patreon page as well, if you're interested in giveaways and kind of exclusive content that I post on there, consider becoming a patron. I'm not currently accepting private readings when I post this video, but I will be soon. So my Etsy shop has just been temporarily closed for a week or two while I'm going through a very, 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 very busy time outside of tarot and just don't have space for private readings because it's a struggle just getting the YouTube videos out at the moment. But that will be reopening soon if you keep checking it, if you're interested in that. Um, and if you'd like to donate to the channel, thank you so much, you guys. That would be lovely. I've got a PayPal link for tips and donations to help me keep making these videos. And I've also got two tarot and oracle wish lists, one over on Amazon and then one indie deck wish list for decks that you can't buy on Amazon. So if you're interested in sending a deck to the channel, do check those out. Thank you so much to everyone who has given back in any way. For everyone who leaves lovely comments, they really do lift me up. Um, you always show me so much love every single day and I'm very, very grateful for each and every one of you and all of your support. So I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Take care. Hey there group two, welcome to your reading. If you chose the card that has like the um, the two children reminiscing about childhood, their families, family trees, etc. And the Ramsey's Tower of Eternity. This is going to be your reading. It makes sense actually, the word eternity with this particular card that's been chosen. So we're going to see how your person feels about you. And if you're new to the channel, I always do charms and dice once I've put all of the cards out. So that's going to be towards the end of the reading. Okay. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. So starting off, we've got the Seven of Pentacles. Then the Four of Pentacles, so two Pentacles cards together. Then we have Two of Wands. And the Star, lovely Star card. Interesting mix of cards. They feel as though you're possibly not talking to this person at this time, or they kind of feel a little bit closed off because with the seven of pentacles that often indicates waiting waiting to hear back from someone or waiting for a decision and four of pentacles is generally when someone closes off their energy i often call it the the card of the wall energy when people shut the doors and they don't want to let you in and then two of wands and the star is almost like the antithesis of that because the two of wands is about opening up um, it's about having a special connection with someone and the star is about healing. So I kind of see this almost like a timeline in a way, but I'm very curious to see what the oracle cards want to tell us. feels as though this person's being a little bit cagey at the moment, like they're just not open to saying how they're feeling, which can be very frustrating. We've got Aquarius energy coming through, I should have said that, with the star card. We've got the wild swans, number 42, dedication. So this person does feel a sense of dedication to you, maybe because you're a family member or they've known you a long time. They really do care about you. It feels as though whatever it is that's causing them not to talk to you, it's possibly um, like other issues, like either they're going through some things right now and they just don't have the bandwidth for it or they are dealing with so many other demands from other people that they're maybe not contacting you like they should be. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things, yeah, number 40. And that's kind of what I'm seeing a little bit with the four of pentacles, all these people kind of toiling and laboring. And then here as well, the seven of pentacles, this woman giving something to a beggar man. It's like that, and you know, she's got the baby on her back. She's got, 
shopping or washing on her head, you know, it feels as though um, whoever you're asking about has a lot of things on their plate at this moment and it's causing them not to prioritize their relationship with you because they've just got so many other people wanting things from them. The garden and the gate, number 30. This desire to kind of step outside the norm, this desire to do things a little bit differently. I feel like this person wants to get off the treadmill that is their life. They want to do things differently, but it's like every time they think about messaging or every time they think about kind of inviting you out for a drink or, you know, whatever it is, whenever they think about including you or asking you to catch up, it just feels like no, another thing pops up. No, I've still got all this stuff to do. I can't make time for myself. That's selfish, etc. This person genuinely seems rushed off their feet. Stepping into power. You are strong beyond measure. So I feel this person really admires you in many ways. Maybe they feel like you're just better at coping with life than them because I kind of feel at the moment they feel very, very much swept away by the demands of life. I feel as though you've possibly overcome a lot of things in your life and they feel really just proud of you for that and in admiration of the things that you've managed to overcome. That could also be what the star card is pointing towards, that you've had a lot more obstacles than most people and you've had to do a lot of healing in this lifetime and this person is really just really in awe of that in a sense. They see you as someone who is really like an example of a great person or someone to look up to. So I'm going to get a message now from the masculine and feminine. And obviously you might be asking about two people of the same sex. It's not about biological sex when I pull these cards, it's about energies. So if you kind of ask yourself, what's my dominant energy or what's the kind of relationship dynamic like between me and this person? Who's the more masculine energy? Who's the more feminine energy? That will tell you who each message is from. So we'll start off with the feminine message. Oh, we've got two cards. Group one got two cards from the feminine as well. So I'm just going to say straight off the bat, I don't know how to pronounce this, so I'm very, very sorry if I'm saying it wrong. Um, but I'm going to say Hine Nue Tepo. Um, trust. I really like the image on this card for some reason. Trust. And beautiful Oya, deliverance. Okay, so it is like they are in the midst of this storm and they're trusting that when they come out of it, you're going to be there to continue being their friend or continue being their love interest or their great family member. But it feels like from your perspective, you feel unappreciated by this person at this time. You feel like they're just not, you know, they're just not there for you. And maybe you're also going through some things, but you're thinking, well, hey, I can make time to think about you or I can make time to message and see how you're doing and you just don't reply or you send a very quick, breezy reply about being rushed off your feet. It feels like that from my perspective, that this person thinks you'll be understanding about their situation, that they're going through a lot and, you know, they think, well, this person cares about me, they understand that. And when this is over, they'll be on the other side waiting for me. But it feels like you're not quite on the same page there because you're feeling like, well, why should I be if you're not able to make any time for me? You see what I mean? That's kind of what I'm feeling. Let's get the message from the masculine. Ra, power. Okay, so interesting, we've got two messages about being powerful here. So the masculine is kind of getting on with life, basically. The masculine is managing very well. Whoever has the more masculine energy is just getting on with things, is discovering their confidence and power. Whereas the feminine seems like they're struggling a lot more. You've got an ice cream here, moon mist, astral travel, visions and visitations. So you may have been seeing this person in your dreams or felt their energy around you. And then we have vanilla, status quo, tradition, simplicity. Like you want something to change. You're not happy with the current status quo. And that also makes me think with the vanilla that this is a relationship that's very long standing. Like you've known them a very long time. Oh, I've just dropped that card. 
but I saw which one it was. It is number 37, Sexualitet, Sexuality. So for some of you, this is a romantic thing. You know, maybe they are, you feel like they're fobbing you off by saying they're busy. I do think they genuinely are busy, by the way. Like, I don't think it's an excuse, but from your perspective, you think they should make more time for you, which obviously if you're a romantic interest for this person, they should be making time for you. We have Torch, okay, that again makes me think of hope for the future, kind of like the lighthouse that's going to deliver them from the storm. They really feel like you light up their life, like they get a lot of support from you, or like you're very good at giving advice, you're very good at listening during difficult times. They kind of almost see you as the light at the end of their tunnel, and I've just noticed that this stepping into power card, the person's carrying this big lantern. And of course, Ra, who I feel is probably representing you here because it feels like they're going through so much stuff and you're the one that seems to be managing things. Ra is the god of the sun. So there again is that fire and and the star as well, the fire guiding. So very similar imagery showing up throughout here. And we've got lots of lights and lamps shining down in this card. So two cards jumping out here. We've got number six, not for you. And then we've got chop wood, number 42. And chop wood is all about doing lots of mundane tasks, like cleaning, like cooking, like doing all of the answering emails and life admin and things. So it does genuinely feel like someone is bogged down in the mundane aspects of their life and has a lot of stuff on their plate at the moment. Not for you could be a message that maybe it's time to look elsewhere romantically and maybe keep this person as a friend if this is a romantic connection. Just interpret that card however you want to, but I'm gonna pull some messages from your person cards if this is a romantic thing. If it's not, just discount these cards and we're gonna go straight onto the charms and dice after this. read them in the order they came out. So we have I'm less experienced than you think as the first card. That's interesting. Maybe you feel like someone's been putting off intimacy, you know, the sexuality and the vanilla um, message there. That could be a, a message about intimacy for some of you. You feel like this person's putting you off and it's because they're actually a little bit anxious because they're not as experienced as you think they are. We have I want to kiss you. There is that connection there from their perspective. I don't want to lose you. So they don't want this difficult, stressful time to mean that they miss out on you. We have I worship the ground you walk on and I really respect you. So I did get that from the, the cards about power and dedication and things that this person really sees you in a very positive way that they really admire you or have a lot of respect for you. Also are kind of proud of you as a person for what you've achieved. So let's get your charms on top now. And just my little disclaimer, if you don't like the sound of the charms being shuffled, please turn down the volume now, especially if you're wearing headphones. Some of you love it and find it really relaxing. Some of you hate it and find it makes you kind of anxious. So <laughs> always try and remember to give you that little disclaimer. So let's start shuffling. Group two, how do they feel about you? So we've got a guardian angel there. So angels are working with you and this person in this situation. I can see there is definitely love there. Um, and also we've got the fortress. Okay, and that suggests that someone is closed off, that they're, keep dropping it, that they're not kind of opening up at the moment. It's very much the four of pentacles charm and you've got the four of pentacles card 
at the beginning of your reading. So this person's definitely got this wall energy around them right now. And we see that again with the cactus charm. It often talks about someone who's kind of in survival mode, you know, someone who's going through a tough time and is just shut down because of that. They're not letting people in. I don't think it's just you either. I feel like it's people in general. We've got the gear. Whenever that lands on a card, I say that whatever that card is talking about is happening now. The gear is kind of in motion and it's landed on the torch, the sexuality card and the trust card. So that's kind of where their mind is at now. They're seeing you as this light at the end of the tunnel. They trust you're going to be there. And the sexuality thing, whatever that is for you, is kind of on their mind. We've got the number one. Could be an important date or number. Kind of makes me think that you're the one for them in their mind or you're their only one, but they just seem not to be making that time and effort for you. You're very important to them, but they're not showing it. And that's really frustrating. And we've got the pig of abundance there. So for some of you, you are dealing with someone who's born in the year of the pig, the Chinese year of the pig. The Celtic pig of abundance is just a symbol of that as well. It's abundance, positive things, fortune in the future. So things may change positively in the future. I do feel when they get out of whatever this stormy, stressful situation is, that things will be very different. But I kind of get the feeling that you might feel differently by then because you feel disrespected by this person or you feel like they can just stop thinking about you or, you know, not make time for you and that's hurtful. Let's get your dice on top. Okay, we're rolling the second set of dice and that's the same set that... I used for group one. Okay, that's a one, so I'm gonna roll again. If I get a zero or a one, I always roll again. Okay, zero. Nine. That often happens, actually. It goes from like zero or one to eight or nine. So we're rolling all nine dice for you guys today. Interesting. We've got that tower imagery, which to me is very, very similar to the fortress. To me, that's not like the tower in tarot, which means like something um, kind of falling apart. To me, it's more like isolation. It's that one solid tower. So I really feel like they're just not opening up to people at this time, but it is time limited. You know, we've got the divine timing charm and we've got the wheel of fortune. So things will change around in time. It is temporary, this situation. Whatever's going on for them, it's not going to last forever, but it's just a kind of question of how long are you prepared to wait um, if you feel that they're being disrespectful towards you or just not showing that they care enough. We've got fear on their side as well, the shadow self, the fear of whatever this intimacy issue is, I feel, and also this this fear almost of reaching out because I feel like it is in the back of their mind that they think, I should be making more of an effort, I should be messaging more often, etc, etc. And it's causing them to panic because the more they think about it, the more scared they are to do it. The longer it goes on, the harder it is for them to reach out and message, if that makes sense. We've got the sheep there, kind of following what other people are doing. It makes sense with like the vanilla card as well because sheep and vanilla are very much about simplicity about doing what is mainstream and normal also makes me think of another chinese year the chinese year of the sheep or goat so we've got a couple of those years popping out the world dice suggests for some of you there is like a geographical distance between you and this person it doesn't have to mean that you're living in different countries but you might live in different cities um, and so it's hard to just kind of pop around and say, hey, what's going on between you and I? Maybe you talk mainly on the internet um, or via apps and things. And that's kind of what that's referring to is that you're not physically around each other all the time. You don't live together, um, if that makes sense. You've got the fountain there, which makes me think a lot of the Ace of Cups. Lots of feelings. This person does care a lot about you and they do have a lot of loving feelings towards you. But I feel like at the moment they're propping everything up. We've got the walking stick there. It feels like they need support, but they can't turn for it because they're too busy doing everything for everyone else. Like other people need them right now or their work and their family and their friends need them right now. And they might have even other issues personally going on for themselves. You know, they might have 
some mental health issues going on right now and they need themselves right now but it's like they ooh, it's that feeling of when you just you feel like you're doing everything for everyone or you feel like everyone wants a piece of you like everyone who calls you wants something everyone who emails you is trying to get you to do something for them it's that feeling that I'm getting but then we've got the dice with the magic wand on it and this is one that group one got and group one got a card that was saying that there's going to be a breakthrough for them soon and I did feel that with the wheel of fortune and the divine timing dice things are going to change once they get out of this stressful period there is going to be like a magical turnaround and suddenly they're available and they're ready for you but I just want to you know put it out there and say make sure that you feel comfortable accepting them back in on the same level when you feel disrespected or hurt or you know that they haven't been showing you enough attention I would say maybe don't go in all guns blazing and be like why haven't you been you know giving me attention because that could come across in the wrong way when you're completely justified to feel this way you know it could come across like you're just being moody or entitled when I think you should instead say I think we need to talk about things or I maybe need an apology from you etc because I don't feel like we can go back to being exactly the same as we were straight away without there being some kind of buffer period for me to process what's gone on if that makes sense that's kind of what I'm feeling is going to happen or what would be the most helpful thing to happen group two so please let me know in the comments how this resonated with you very interesting connection and very very specific as well but group one was also pretty specific and group three is always my most complicated reading so I'm really interested to see how specific that situation is going to be um do like share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video because it really really helps my channel get seen by more people on youtube helps us to grow the family that we're getting here and if you're interested in what I do here on the channel, check out the description box because it's full of links. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram if you'd like to get daily oracle cards on your feed. You can go and follow me on Billy Billy to show me some support over there. If you're interested in giveaways and exclusive content, check out my Patreon page and consider becoming a patron. Um, and if you'd like to donate to the channel, thank you so much, you guys. I have a PayPal link for tips and donations, and I've got two tarot and oracle wish lists, one on Amazon and then one that's like an indie deck wish list for the ones that you can't buy on Amazon. So thank you to everyone that's considered doing that and everyone that's kind of checked those out even if you haven't um, donated because it really does mean a lot to me. And I'm not currently accepting private readings on Etsy. Um, when I'm posting this video, I will be soon. I've just closed my Etsy shop for a week or two because I've got a very, 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 very busy time outside of tarot. So I've I'm barely finding time to put the YouTube videos up at the moment, but in, I want to say a week or so, I will be reopening the shop. So do keep checking it um, if you're interested in private readings, because this is a temporary situation like with this person. So yes, thank you so much for watching this, you guys. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Take care. Hey there everyone, if you chose the um, the big fish walking through the city and the happy tarot, then this is going to be your reading. This is pile three. So if you're new to my channel, I always do charms and dice at the end of the cards. So that's going to be coming at the end of the reading. But let's see how this person feels about you. Okay, lots of cards let's see what we've got we've got the four of swords there starting off the reading then we've got the world nine of cups super cute card ace of wands then the queen of swords and the seven of cups interesting okay we've got gemini libra aquarius showing up in the reading air signs i'm kind of getting an interesting feeling from this i'm feeling as though from this person's perspective you're kind of like their favorite person or you're everything they could wish for in a friend or a partner or a sibling or whatever because we've got the nine of cups which usually suggests having everything you want okay 
but I feel from their perspective that they feel as though you're not letting them in. We've got the Queen of Swords, we've got the Four of Swords, the Seven of Cups. It's kind of like they don't know what to do about this connection. Maybe they feel like you're putting a wall up or they feel like you're playing it cool. Maybe they're worried that you're not on the same page as them about your relationship. Maybe you're just not sharing things with them because, you know, you're afraid of what they might say or think or maybe you just... Um, you know, maybe you are being open with them, but they just feel like they're not sure what to do about your connection. This connection really does feel very significant from their perspective, like it really feels very important to them. And like, yeah, you just are in many ways everything they could wish for in the relationship that you have. But there's a lot of uncertainty for them at the moment. I feel like they've possibly caught feelings very quickly, very suddenly, very unexpected. If this is a romantic connection, maybe they weren't expecting it to happen so quickly or so intensely, because I do think that they feel quite intensely towards you. And maybe they're also afraid of, of sharing that. Like, I kind of get a feeling that maybe they don't want to tell you so much how much they care, because they're not sure how that would be received. Really interesting. Here you got a couple of these cards. The Snow Queen, Loyalty, number 36. And I do kind of feel that the Snow Queen would be the Queen of Swords in any deck. So maybe they do really feel that you're quite, I don't want to say cold, because it's not that. It's more like that you're just, you're just not opening up to them in the way that they would want. We have Water and Salt, Truth, number 44. And Snow White, Purity, number one. This person has very pure feelings towards you. I feel as well that they kind of idolize you. In a way, they have a very idealized um, perception of you. There's a lot of things they want to tell you. Things that they've never told other people. Nightingale Spirit, love is all around, number 41. Yes, there's definitely a lot of love here. As I was saying, this person, it's almost like a kid in a sweet shop like they just genuinely feel so much care for you and they feel as though they've got everything they want as far as you're concerned but they worry that they're not making you happy or they worry that you're not giving them the full story as far as your feelings go or that you're not sharing what's on your mind I'm kind of wondering if maybe some of you have um just had a lot of issues to deal with in life in general maybe they know that you've had for example a traumatic past or a difficult upbringing or that you're having a lot of stress at work or that you have suffered with mental health issues or physical health issues and they're kind of worried about that and they want you to talk about it but you might not be comfortable doing that or you might not even be struggling with that at the moment but it's just on their mind all the time like is this person okay how are they doing with regards to this what do I say what do I do they don't want to upset you in any way transformation a fresh new way of living emerges yeah and I get that from the eight of wands and from the the world as well that they definitely didn't expect to feel so intensely about you or to feel what they feel about you if that makes sense if this is someone you've only been seeing quite recently or a friend that you've only made quite recently they didn't expect to hit it off with you as much as they did or they didn't expect to catch feelings for you so suddenly woman holding a coin number 42 okay so whoever the feminine is in this situation and because we've got the queen of swords there I'm inclined to think that it's you whoever's watching they feel as though the feminine in this situation if that's you has just got their life under control if that makes sense like as much as they're worried about some things like maybe your physical health or your mental health or past trauma or stress that you're dealing with at work they feel like you've got a lot under control maybe you're very successful in life or they just feel so proud of you or in awe of you for overcoming these things if they would be the feminine energy in this example and whenever I talk about energies it's never directly related to biological sex you could be a woman who feels like you have more masculine energy in the relationship it's kind of about 
your predominant energy and then also the relationship dynamics. So if they're the more feminine energy, they want to give what they have to you. And that doesn't necessarily just mean financial, that they want to support you in that way, but they want to give and share everything they have with you. So with that being said, I'm pleased that we've got the kind of explanation about energies out of the way because I'm going to get a message now from the masculine and the feminine in this situation. So just quickly ask yourself, am I more masculine or feminine in this situation, in this relationship dynamic? Because that will let you know which message is about you and which is about them. So straight away, we've got Lilith, equality. So the feminine is really hoping for a very balanced and very very equitable relationship here. I feel like the feminine is very independent. You know, we've got a lot of this. We've got woman holding a coin. We've got queen of swords. We've got the snow queen, you know, actually two references to snow because snow white as well. But we've got a lot there about independence, standing up for yourself, being a successful person, you know. And so the feminine does not want to settle for anything less than what they deserve and they certainly don't want a relationship where they feel codependent or where they feel not equal to their partner and message from the masculine <laughs> dionysus ecstasy okay so they the masculine in this situation just feels completely intoxicated by the other person they just feel like wow this is everything i could wish for this person is just incredible you know maybe they love the way you look, the sound of your voice, everything you do for them, you know, the dynamics you have as a person. It's like a really holistic thing. And that comes through in the Nine of Cups and in the world as well, that it's just everything about you that they adore. You've got two ice creams today. You've got strawberry, immunity, vitality, radiance. The radiance makes sense that they really just they're in awe of you when they see you. They're just like, wow, that person's amazing. Like, that's my best friend. Or they just look at you and they're like, that person is beautiful and an amazing person as well. And then also immunity and vitality makes me think again about physical health. Maybe you've been battling with physical health issues and they want to show that they're there, that they're around to care for you or that they're always gonna check in. And then your other ice cream is candy loaded, which I think looks super sweet social gatherings, celebration, special events. They want to have fun with you. They want you to meet their family if they haven't already done that. They want to meet your family, you know, they want to kind of merge their life with yours and they want you to be a part of their life in all of the big milestone ways. And they want to have fun with you and, and have great gatherings and things with you. We have Lost Lassen, number 27, leaving something behind. I feel this is connected to whatever issues have popped up for you in the past, whether it is trauma or, you know, a difficult upbringing, bullying, physical or mental health issues. It feels like they want to help you move past that. You know, they want to help you leave that behind. Maybe you've been treated badly by an ex and they want to show that they're not going to be like that, you know? Or they want to know how you're feeling so that they can be the shoulder to cry on or the person who's going to listen and be sympathetic. Feather. Okay, angels are involved in this situation. And I feel like in many ways, even, you know, whether they're spiritual or not, whether they would believe in, in angels or in God or anything like that or not, it feels like they think you've been brought into their life for a reason or they think like that person's my angel I don't know what I do without them or they think that person is just my everything and I'm so grateful that they're in my life like there's a real kind of divinity almost to this connection which is just beautiful deep knowing number 43 really cute maybe you both really understand each other on a deep level I kind of feel this is this person sensing how you feel without you speaking, you know? And I think that's partly where their worry comes from is that they worry you're not telling them things about how you're feeling. If you're having second thoughts or if you're struggling at any point, they worry that you feel you can't share that with them, you know? 
So if you're asking about a romantic connection, I'm just gonna get you a couple of my homemade messages from your person cards. If you're not asking about a romantic connection, just discount these messages and then we'll move straight on to the charms and dice. Okay, lots of, wow. Okay, lots and lots of messages. Let's just gather them all up. Group three, always the most complicated group. Okay, so we've got, I'm confused about our connection. Maybe that's where the worry is coming from. They're maybe not sure that you're as intensely connected to them as they are to you. You're always on my mind. I hate it when we argue. Coffee and cake, question mark. They want to take you out on a little date or just to spend time with you. Let's run away together. When I'm with you, I feel like I can do anything. You always make me laugh. There's another one behind that. Um, which is, I have a secret, dot, dot, dot. Okay, so the next one is going to be that secret. I'm always overthinking things. So they might come across to you as someone who doesn't really think that much about, you know, feelings or, you know, things that are going on. They might seem like someone that just doesn't think that much about that kind of thing, but they're always overthinking. They're always overanalyzing. We have, I'm going to prove myself to you. I want to see you again. And I get jealous when other people flirt with you. Okay, so that could possibly be what the Lost Lassen card was about. They want to help you move on from an ex, etc. So lots and lots of messages. This person clearly thinks a lot about you and cares a lot about you, has a lot that they want to, sh to share and to say. So let's do your charms now. Just a quick disclaimer if you don't like the sound of the charms. Some of you love it, some of you hate it, so please do turn down the volume now, especially if you're wearing headphones, because they can be very loud and you might not like the sound. So, group three. How does this person feel about you? Yes, so we've got the fortress charm there. And this is kind of what I feel, that they feel that you don't open up. You know, the fortress is when someone is putting up that wall energy. They feel like you're not communicating your full truth to them. They feel like you're not saying when you're worried or if you've got cold feet about the relationship, they feel like you're not opening up about that and it causes them to worry more. We've got the gingerbread man wanting things to last a long time, wanting things to just unfold slowly. We've got the intuitive symbol with the elephant there. This person has a lot of deep kind of inner wisdom and they are worried, you know, with the the octopus that's about juggling a lot of things. So one or both of you could be very busy right now, but I also think it's like mentally juggling a lot of things. They have a lot of thoughts buzzing around their mind. The letter V is coming out, specifically landing on I hate it when we argue. So maybe it's connected to that. It could be a person's name or a word. We've got the stars aligning there, so they could just be feeling really dazzled by you, like they just think you're incredible. Um, they could feel like you're a perfect match. They could be waiting for the stars to change so that they align and things get better if there's circumstances that are bothering you. The number five is coming up here. That's a number very associated with the Divine Feminine, but it could be a different meaning for you. Could be the fifth month of May, could be the fifth of a month, it could be the fifth house. We've got the frog there, so adaptability. This person, I feel, because we've got that card, I'm going to prove myself to you. I kind of feel this person is willing to change in some way for you. And that's a slippery slope, so I'm not saying in any way encourage that from this person because people should never change themselves to, to please another person. But I feel like they're so, they care so much about you that they're willing to change who they are in a way for, the, for you to be happier, basically. And finally, we've got the cookie jar, treats. Wanting to treat you or just spend quality time together, coffee and cake coming to mind again there. 
So we'll do your dice as well now, group three, to wrap up the reading. Okay, the fifth set of dice, so the number five is coming out again. Those are the actions dice that we're going to be using. These ones. And we're rolling seven of them for you, okay? Let's have seven dice for group three, please. Wow, yes, okay, so this person doesn't wanna lose you. I'm seeing that straight away with the dropping the ball. They're so afraid of making a mistake here. Um, I don't know what it is that's, that's going on here, but they're kind of like reading a lot about relationships or they're trying to learn more about you or if you do have a kind of health condition or have suffered trauma in the past they're trying to learn more about that like by reading articles and stuff about it so that they can be more supportive of that I feel like they're trying to get your attention a lot they think about you a lot they want to enjoy this relationship as much as they possibly can take a big bite out of it and enjoy it but at the same time it is kind of hard work and I feel like they do really want to prove themselves to you. Taking it one step at a time, brick by brick. And having fun, yes, that landed on the social gatherings, celebrations, events card. So there is something they're planning in the future, maybe a birthday party or something, or they just want to have fun with you. They want to see you let your hair down and, you know, enjoy yourself because you feel like someone who's just so switched on to their goals all the time that you maybe don't relax enough. So that's what I'm seeing, group three. This person, a lot, a lot of love for you, genuinely. Um, please let me know in the comments how this resonated with you. Please do like, share and subscribe if you enjoyed this video because it really helps my channel get seen by more people on YouTube and helps us grow our family here. If you're interested in what I do here on the channel, check out the description box because it's full of links. You can follow me on Instagram if you want to get daily oracle cards into your feed. You can show your support for me on Billy Billy by following me on there. If you're interested in exclusive content and giveaways, Ways, check out my Patreon page and consider becoming a patron. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, thank you so, so much. I've got a PayPal link for tips and donations, and I've got two Tarot and Oracle wish lists. So I've got one on Amazon and one that's an indie deck wish list for decks that you can't buy on Amazon. Thank you so much to everyone that's donated and everyone that's just looked through those wish lists and not donated because it really does make um, an awful lot of difference to me just to know that you guys really, really care. Um, I'm not currently offering private readings, but I will be soon. So I've closed my shop for a week or two on Etsy just because I've got such a busy time outside of tarot at the moment that I'm struggling just to get the YouTube videos up, never mind private readings. Um, but I will be reopening to them soon. So keep checking back on the Etsy shop if you're interested in that kind of thing. And I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day. Thank you so much for spending your time here with me and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Take care.